I see you're there at the facility in Foxborough. Get Mike, I'll give you the floor. What is your reaction to what we're seeing here? Well, Greeny, I want to give you just the team perspective here at the facility. This is not a major surprise to the Patriots. You know, behind the scenes over the last couple days, it's my understanding that there was a hope that there would be maybe some dialogue. You know, hey, what would it take to bring you back? But there wasn't necessarily a reciprocation from Tom Brady, almost a feeling that maybe it was, you know, his decision. Nothing you can do here for the Patriots right now would bring me back. I want this fresh start. And all along, Greeny, we've said there were two big questions that needed to be answered. How far would Bill Belichick go to bring him back? And how badly did Tom Brady really want to be back? And this answers the second question. I think many people assumed Brady wanted to come back because this is all he's known for 20 years. But as he said in his posts, it's time for a fresh start. It really clears up that second question. No question about that. Now, Mike, I'm going to ask you to speculate perhaps a little here. But people will look at this from the outside and wonder how much of this has to do with a challenging relationship, and, and that I'm just choosing that word at random, between Brady and Belichick. As of right now, what do we know about the relationship between those two? I would say this, Greeny. That is a business relationship. And the last couple of years, Tom Brady had his contract uh, renegotiated. And I would say it's fair to say that that didn't go the way that Tom Brady hoped. And maybe this would be a different ending if the team and Bill Belichick had extended more. Bill Belichick would acknowledge at this point he was more comfortable going in a year-to-year -year setup with Tom Brady. Had it been different and there had been a thought of, hey, let's spread this out so you can reach your goal of playing the 45 and we'll work with you, maybe this does have a different ending. But I never sensed that it was deeply personal, Greeny, just more business, and they still worked together and had incredibly productive results doing so, but just more from a business perspective than anything. All right, and then so back to the very first thing you said, Mike, that this would not come as a huge surprise to, uh, to Bill Belichick and the, and the folks there at the Patriots organization. That means that they must have some planning in place. So I can't believe I'm asking you this question, but who do we expect now to be the quarterback for the New England Patriots next season? Well, let's look at who they have on their roster. They drafted Jarrett Stidham in the fourth round last year, and they have Cody Kessler. Now, they might bring in someone else, Greeny, but their salary cap situation is such that it wouldn't be really a big-ticket type of guy. They don't have the room to do that. So this sort of hits the reset button for them and allows them financially to say, let's look at the young kid, Jarrett Stidham, see how that goes, and maybe we bring in a veteran, but at a lower cost. So it's a total reset, Greeny, and there's financial considerations in play with that. I would be surprised if they aggressively go out and look at the veteran market at a high-cost level right now. All right, Mike Reese, thank you. We will certainly be coming back to you all day long. Let me bring Orlovsky and Swagoo back in here. So, guys, we have been talking about this for months, and as I said, it still is somewhat <laughs> jarring when you actually hear the words. Dan Orlovsky, we'll start with you. What's your reaction? Tom Brady posting on social media he is leaving the New England Patriots. Yeah, Greeny, you know I've, I've felt this way since January. Um even that, even that being said, when Darlington came on and made that announcement, I had chills. I had goosebumps on my body. And I'll be honest with you, I'm just a huge fan. I was getting emotional just thinking about it, just kind of re-racking my brain through Tom Brady's history. Um, this was a decision made by Tom because what has transpired in New England. If we're going to sit here and go, why did this happen? In many ways, the Patriots failed to support him during the back end of his career, to give him the necessary people to allow him to play at the level that he's kind of has that self-expectation to play at. And I'm not surprised by this at all. I have felt this way since January. I did not think there was a chance that Tom Brady was going back to New England. There's much better options for him to go. And now that we see that come true, I'm excited. This is also at, at the same time exciting. This is the greatest quarterback of all time, um, kind of reinvigorating himself. He's going to reinvigorate a franchise and in many ways send a shot into the NFL. And so uh, this is a very exciting next 24 to 36 hours to see where he lands. Swagoo. 
Well, I didn't get chills and I didn't get emotional. I, it ain't all that for me. It's football. And I know a lot of people couldn't wrap their minds around the fact that Tom Brady would be in another uh, uniform. But, to, I mean, like Dan said, we've been talking about this. But it wasn't that... To me, it's, it wasn't shocking. I don't know. I don't know why. I just know that the nature of this business. I, I I look at it from a different point of view, and I understand the work that Tom Brady has put in in New England. I understand the accomplishments and the things that they were able to accomplish. But like I said, man, Peyton Manning played for somewhere else. Brett Favre played on another team. We've seen this time and time again, and obviously because it's New England, because it's Tom Brady, and we were in the here and now. We a lot of people couldn't wrap their minds around the fact that he would leave and go play somewhere else. But that's just what it boils down to, man. Uh, and I'm actually happy for Tom Brady. If I, if I was to describe my emotion, I'm happy for him. I'm happy that he gets a chance to go somewhere else and play. And like many have said, New England is a hard place to play when it comes to the everyday overall grind. So maybe he goes somewhere else, can experience success and experience another side of football like, like a lot of guys do when they change organizations. I'm just thinking of legendary quarterbacks who did not finish their careers with the teams for which they will always be remembered. Swagoo, you just mentioned. Peyton Manning didn't finish as a Colt. Uh, Brett Favre didn't finish as a Green Bay Packer. Joe Montana did not finish his career as a San Francisco 49er. Joe Namath did not finish his career as a New York Jet. All of those happened, and yet there does seem to be something a little bit different about this. Tom Brady and the Patriots, it went 20 full seasons. It felt like this might be more like some of the others that we've seen. And I just jotted some names down. Kobe Bryant played his entire career as a Laker. Tim Duncan played his entire career as a San Antonio Spur. Derek Jeter played his entire career as a New York Yankee. And so here we are. I think I lean a little more towards Dan's side of this. I am the sports geek in me will be stunned to see Tom Brady wearing a different jersey and a different helmet next year. Now we can start trying to figure out which jersey and which helmet it will be. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.